Have you been throwing away one of the most powerful fertilizers sitting right in your kitchen trash? I'm talking about eggshells, and with all the holiday baking and cooking happening right now, you're probably generating more eggshells than ever. I'm about to show you how to turn them into liquid calcium gold in just 48 hours that you can store all winter and use this spring to save your tomatoes and peppers from that heartbreaking blossom end rot. I've been gardening organically for over three decades, and I used to struggle with blossom end rot every single season until I discovered this method. Now my tomatoes are perfect, my peppers are thriving, and I haven't bought calcium supplements in years. Stay with me because in the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through the exact step-by-step -step process I use to extract pure calcium from eggshells using something you already have in your pantry. And the best part? You can make this right now during the off-season while you have time, store it for months, and have it ready the moment your spring plants need it. Now, before we dive into the method, let me explain why preparing this now is such a smart move. Calcium is one of the most critical nutrients your plants need, but here's the problem most gardeners don't understand. When you just crush up eggshells and throw them in your soil, it can take months or even years for that calcium to break down and become available to your plants. Your tomatoes need calcium right when they're fruiting, not next year. That's where blossom end rot comes in. You've probably seen it before. You're so excited watching your tomatoes grow in summer, and then suddenly you notice that dark, sunken spot on the bottom of the fruit. It's devastating. And it's not a disease. It's a calcium deficiency, plain and simple. The plant can't move calcium from the soil into the developing fruit fast enough. But here's what most gardeners don't know. Even if your soil has plenty of calcium, your plants might not be able to access it. Calcium doesn't move easily through soil, and it doesn't move well inside the plant either. That's why foliar feeding with water-soluble calcium is so incredibly effective. You're delivering it directly where the plant needs it most. So what's the solution? We need to convert that calcium carbonate in eggshells into a form that dissolves in water and becomes immediately available to plants. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this 48-hour method. Then we'll store it properly so it's ready when planting season arrives. Here's what you'll need. First, eggshells. And right now during the holiday season, you're probably going through eggs like crazy with all the baking and cooking. I save mine throughout the week in a container on my counter. You'll want about 10 to 12 eggshells for this batch. Don't worry about washing them perfectly, but do remove any obvious egg white residue. Second, white vinegar. Just the regular distilled white vinegar from any grocery store. The acetic acid in vinegar is what's going to do the magic. And third, a glass jar. I use a quart-sized mason jar, but any glass container with a lid works perfectly. Now let me show you exactly how this works. The first step is preparing your eggshells. You want them as fine as possible because, well, surface area really matters. The more surface area exposed to the vinegar, the faster and more complete the extraction will be. I start by letting my eggshells dry out completely. If they're still wet or have membrane attached, they won't grind as well. Once they're dry, I use my coffee grinder to pulverize them into a fine powder. Now, if you don't have a coffee grinder, you can use a mortar and pestle, or even just put them in a plastic bag and crush them with a rolling pin. Just get them as fine as you can. Here's a pro tip I learned the hard way. Dedicate one coffee grinder just for eggshells and garden materials. Don't use your regular coffee grinder unless you want calcium-flavored coffee tomorrow morning. Trust me on this one. Once you've got your eggshell powder, just measure out about half a cup. That's roughly 10 to 12 eggshells ground up, give or take. Next, put that powder into your clean glass jar. Now comes the exciting part. Pour in two cups of white vinegar. And, uh, watch what happens immediately. You're going to see bubbling and fizzing start right away. That's the chemical reaction happening in real time. The acetic acid in the vinegar is reacting with the calcium carbonate in the eggshells, breaking it down and releasing carbon dioxide gas. Those bubbles you see, that's CO2 escaping. This reaction is converting the calcium carbonate into calcium acetate, which is completely water-soluble. That means your plants can absorb it immediately when spring comes, either through their roots or through their leaves. Put the lid on loosely. Don't tighten it all the way because gas is still being released and you don't want pressure building up in your jar. I learned that lesson when I had vinegar spray all over my kitchen counter the first time I tried this. Now here's where the 48 hours comes in. You're going to let this mixture sit at room temperature for two full days. 
I usually start mine in the morning so I can check on it easily. During this time, the vinegar is continuing to extract calcium from the eggshells. You'll notice the bubbling slows down after the first few hours, but the extraction process is still happening. I like to give the jar a gentle swirl once or twice a day just to keep everything mixing, but that's optional. After 48 hours, you're going to see that the liquid has turned slightly cloudy or milky. That's perfect. That cloudiness is dissolved calcium. You might also notice that some eggshell pieces are still visible at the bottom. That's normal. Not every bit of shell will completely dissolve, especially if you had some larger pieces. Now we need to strain out the solids. I use a fine mesh strainer or even a coffee filter. Pour the liquid through and collect it in another clean jar. What you're left with is pure calcium acetate solution. This is your liquid calcium gold. But here's the critical part. You cannot use this concentrated solution directly on your plants. It's way too strong, and the acidity from the vinegar will damage your plants. We need to dilute it properly. Here's the ratio I use and recommend. Take one tablespoon of your concentrated calcium solution and mix it with one gallon of water. That's it, one tablespoon per gallon. This gives you a safe, effective concentration that won't burn your plants, but will deliver plenty of available calcium. Now here's the beauty of making this during winter. The concentrated solution stores indefinitely in a sealed glass jar away from light. I've used solution that was six months old with perfect results. So you can make multiple batches right now while you're collecting holiday eggshells, store them in your garage or basement, and have a whole arsenal ready for spring planting season. Now, let me talk about how you'll use this liquid calcium gold once spring arrives. You've got two application methods, and well, I use both for maximum effectiveness. Method one is foliar feeding. This means spraying the diluted solution directly onto the leaves of your plants. I just use a simple pump sprayer. Early morning or late evening is the best time because that's when the stomata on the leaves are open and absorption is highest. Spray until the leaves are wet but not dripping. Focus on the newer growth and the undersides of leaves where absorption happens most efficiently. For tomatoes and peppers, I start foliar feeding as soon as I see the first flowers forming. That's when calcium demand spikes. I spray once a week throughout the growing season. This prevents blossom end rot before it ever starts. Method two is soil drenching. Pour your diluted solution directly onto the soil around the base of your plants. This gets calcium into the root zone where it can be absorbed through the roots. I do this every two weeks during the growing season. Okay, so here's my complete feeding schedule for spring and summer. Week one, I do a foliar spray. Then, in week two, it's a soil drench. Week three, I go back to foliar spray. Week four, another soil drench. I just alternate back and forth all season long. This dual approach, honestly, ensures your plants have constant access to calcium through both pathways. And you know, it's not just tomatoes and peppers that benefit from this. Brassicas like cabbage and broccoli really love calcium. Leafy greens actually grow stronger cell walls when they get enough calcium. And even fruit trees, they benefit from foliar calcium sprays during fruit development. The best part about this method, it costs almost nothing. You're using eggshells you'd throw away anyway and cheap vinegar. A gallon jug of vinegar costs maybe $3 and will make dozens of batches. Compare that to buying commercial calcium supplements at the garden center. Plus, you know exactly what's in your fertilizer. No mystery ingredients, no synthetic chemicals, just pure calcium extracted from a natural source using a simple acid reaction. Okay, so here's what I want you to do right now. Start saving your eggshells today. With all the holiday cooking and baking, you'll have enough for your first batch in just a few days. Just set up your jar, add the vinegar, and start that 48-hour extraction. Store it properly, and come spring, you'll have liquid calcium gold ready to protect your plants from day one. If you found this helpful, give us a like and hit that subscribe button because I'm sharing organic gardening methods like this every single week. Next time, I'm showing you how to turn another kitchen waste into garden gold even faster. Drop a comment below and tell me if you have struggled with blossom end rot in past seasons and what crops have given you the most trouble. Until next time, keep growing green and living clean.